When people think of the upper class, a few things come to mind. Mansions, fancy cars, and old guys playing golf while smoking cigars. But how much do these individuals actually need to be considered upper class? Well, today we're going to be breaking down the numbers, and you'll be surprised to learn how much you actually need to be considered in each class. Let's go. Now, to make this analysis easier, I'm going to be breaking it up by 20%. Starting off with the lowest 20%. Now on average, the lower class has a net worth of around $16,900. These individuals also have an average annual income of around $30,000 or less. Now for some added context, to determine your net worth, you subtract your liabilities from your assets. So assets could be your bank account, retirement account, and even if you own a home. And liabilities can be student loans, if you have any credit card debt, car loans, or even a mortgage. People in this class can be in all sorts of positions, and it can be very hard, especially at this net worth and income level, to get ahead in society. Your net worth should go up with age as you get a better job, get better with your finances, and start to grow your assets. If you are struggling with a lot of debt, try to reach out to someone for help, either a friend, family, or financial advisor. The sooner you do, the better. The next bracket is the lower middle class, with an average net worth of $58,550 and an average income of between $30,001 and $1 and $58,020. Now these individuals are the start of the middle class and usually are, again, people starting out their careers or blue collar workers. They're also at or a good portion higher than the poverty line. Now the middle class is the backbone of our society. Now even though the percentage of them has slowly been decreasing over time, they still make up roughly 50% of the US population. Their economic activities drive consumer demand and their contributions are crucial to the stability and the growth of the economy. Protecting and supporting the middle class is essential for a healthy and thriving society. Moving on is the middle class, with an average net worth of $169,420, and an average income of between $58,021 and $94,000. Now these could be people who have been in the workforce for a fair amount of time. They have been promoted or have even switched jobs already to earn more money, and they have a stable job and also moderate financial security. Now this is the point where people are starting to make a decent salary, and they might actually have some money left over after dealing with all of their expenses. They're contributing to their retirement accounts, and they may still be renting to save some money, but there's a fair chance that they might have a condo or co-op at this time. Up on the high end of the middle class, you see a net worth of $300,800, and an income between $94,001 and $153,000. These individuals can be engineers, doctors, lawyers, architects, business owners, and other high paying jobs. There's also the possibility that these individuals earn this kind of money because they've been in the workforce for a long time and have worked their way up the ladder. They are usually homeowners. They have a lot of assets in their name and they've been contributing to their retirement account for a while now. Even though they're making excellent money and have a fantastic net worth, there's still a fair chance that they have some debt in their name. They might have not paid off all of their student loans and there's a good chance that they still have a mortgage. And at the top, we have the upper class that begins with a starting net worth of around $793,120 and who are earning more than $153,000 a year. Now you think of entrepreneurs, finance people, tech bros, and doctors. They are very specialized and they are doing jobs that take a lot of experience and time to get into. They own a home, their retirement funds are maxed out every year, and they also have a lot of assets in their name. It could be real estate or stocks. They also put money towards their kids' college accounts every year. This could also be fair to assume that they have lots of specialists helping them with their finances, like financial advisors and accountants. At this point, you start to see funny money. People are earning millions and are worth millions because at the top 10%, the average net worth is 2.65 million. They are the serial entrepreneurs, hedge fund managers, and CEOs. Unfortunately, what people don't realize is that these people work a lot. There comes a point when the rich keep working hard to earn more money because they can and because it's addictive. They also keep working because they love it. When you are this wealthy, your time is your most valuable commodity. That is why in shows and movies you see the rich having personal assistants, drivers, chefs, and more. It does not make sense to spend your valuable time doing something you can easily pay someone else to do, thus allowing you, the rich person, to make even more money. Now, if at any point in your life you're able to exchange money for your time back, then you should do it. Because you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. Now, something to note, these are just the averages of the country as a whole. Your net worth can greatly depend on your salary, where you live, your taxes, and a lot more. Hopefully this gave you a little insight into the classes based off of net worth and income. If you're comfortable, I'd love to hear you share your income and net worth and your experiences down in the comments down below. And with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.